Hello everyone. So now we are in the month of August and I hope all of you have started your preparation sincerely and many of you have asked us for the study plan for environmental science. So in this video we will see a study plan for the next five months and in this in these five months you can plan your study as well as revision and I'm uh, keeping some scope for the month of January because I do not suggest students to keep studying till January at least not the new subjects January month you should keep available for all the revision and all the tests that you are supposed to be appearing so in the study plan we can see for gate environmental science this is the syllabus that we have these are the 11 topics and on the right hand side you can see the weightage of different subjects so aptitude and maths like civil here they are forming 28 marks 15 plus 13 so 15 percent and 13 percent these are the weightage then after these two the next highest weightage comes from water and wastewater engineering then waste management is there in that solid waste management generally then environmental management eight percent or eight marks you can consider these percent as as marks itself then microbiology air pollution chemistry hydraulics water resources and global issues so you can see once we go beyond this waste management every topic is almost equal in weightage like these three are eight percent then the remaining are six or five percent something like that so if you talk about the priority so from here it should be clear to you that if you are preparing sincerely for this exam then you should pay high attention to maths and aptitude so maths and aptitudes i have kept among the all these topics i have kept highest days for maths because many of you would be studying it for the first time and sometimes what happens is while we are preparing for technical subjects we do not give sufficient time to maths so give it proper time i mean i have just given this breakdown for 150 days as i mentioned earlier and in 150 days 86 days are there for almost three months are there for you to study these topics and another two months for the revision part so you can see how fairly distributed it is so you you can cover your revision also using this now water and wastewater treatment so if you have already studied it it can be done in less than 10 days but 10 days should be sufficient for you if you are sincerely studying so similarly solid and hazardous waste six days and then four days for revision so i have divided for each subject in this manner now priority wise after maths and aptitude you should be focusing on water and wastewater then waste management which is the sex second one here this topic as such is not as big so it should be done within these many days environment management this is more of a theoretical topic so you can see where you want to fit it you can try to study it later when you are done with major subjects so time wise apart from these subjects you will need more time in studying hydraulics water resources these topics especially if you are from non-civil background and studying these topics it may require you to have higher number of days you need you will need to dedicate to these topics so keep that in mind and a lot of numericals are asked from these topics so you will need to prepare accordingly then air and noise pollution this is one topic which they ask very good questions from and they have asked about eight to nine marks in the past then chemistry and environmental microbiology so there is a fair distribution between all these topics as you can see there is not a lot of discrepancy apart from maths aptitude and water and wastewater treatment because they are holding of about 50 marks in the paper 28 11 11 that is 28 plus 22 so it will be 50 marks exactly so i would suggest that you start preparing for these topics very well if you have not done that already and how would you like to divide between i mean study days and revision days so there are generally two ways that students find useful or how they like to do it so you can study let's say you are studying water and wastewater treatment so you can study that 
then you can go on to study the next subject let's say you have studied solid and hazardous waste management now once you have done that then you can go back for these five days or you can also break down these five days as three plus two days once you do in three days and later in the later part you can again study it for two days so for these five days once you have studied these two subjects you go back and study the first subject that is one way of revising then once you have revised first subject then you go on to read the next subject then again you go to revise the previous subject so this strategy you can follow and sometimes this can get hectic and especially if you are not being able to complete the syllabus on time you are taking extra days in that case you can break down your study time let's say you are studying for four hours so you can break it down to two plus two or you can uh, you can even do it to three plus one hours and in the first two hours you can study a new subject and in the second part you can study or you can revise a subject two hours would be too much i mean initially so initially you can do something like three plus one where you study for three hours and revise for something about one hour so that way you will not need to wait till the end for the revision and you should not delay your revision till the end you all would be aware of the fact that we we forget pretty fast whatever you are studying today in 15 days time you would have completely forgotten it so within a month at least you should have a revision of whatever you you are studying at the beginning of that month so keep that in mind and in the name of revision if you are again just studying your notes then that's not always a great way for revision especially for the numerical subjects and if you are doing it for the subjects that are theoretical in nature even in then even in those cases i would not say it is the best way but for at least the subjects that are more numerical intensive you will need to solve questions so for each topic you have gate pyqs and if you have any question bank so you will have questions from that or if you have any other exam i mean you can take questions from esc you can take questions from isro exam so many other exams are there but to begin with when you study a subject you are supposed to study the concepts for the topic you are studying and then follow it by the pyqs this is the bare minimum like if you are appearing in gate then gate pyq of that topic you are supposed to be solving and once you are done with that you can solve for the other subjects like if you are appearing in gate es then you have many more questions available from the civil pyq topics so get more questions from that and these question solving is how you are supposed to revise the topic also because if you just read the topic again your brain will just get used to what you have written and you may not take the input of new information which is necessary so instead of just reading your notes solve questions find out your mistakes and then go to your notes to see what mistake you did and what is the correct way what is the correct concept so that way your question solving would be better i mean it will help you better in actually preparing for the exam so this is i mean basically this is the way i think you should be preparing and here if you take this plan itself so you have three months if you are even if you are starting now three months for your preparation and about two months for your revision and easily you will be able to finish the entire preparation and you will still have more days in which you can up give more tests give more mock tests and further revise the week topics so and also if you want any more help we have a gate es course on our website apict.in so you can check that out if you have not done that already if you are appearing in this exam so we have the course with the video lecture study material as well as the test series and question bank involved for that so all the things will be covered in that and you can utilize that but this is the basic strategy from 
any source whatever source you are using for your preparation this is the strategy that you can use